Update two on Hurricane Otto, which is now by our sad ops, a category three hurricane with winds of 115 miles an hour and a pressure of 975 millibars. Uh, it's a rarity and it could be the second most southerly hurricane landfall in the Atlantic. And that's likely to occur in this next few hours. Uh, in Nicaragua, very close to the border with Costa Rica. Hurricane warnings in effect for the coast of both nations and uh, warnings on the Pacific side as well. Could be still a hurricane near that side as well. Um, but tropical storm warnings, I believe, are in effect on the western side. Its position is 11 degrees north, 83.4 west. And as you can see, it's expected to move into the eastern Pacific, stay as a tropical storm for some time. Um, and some conflict in the models, some of them saying it will stay stronger and in indeed uh, be a hurricane in the eastern Pacific, but we don't know yet. Look at the sea surface temperatures, that might give you an idea. They are very warm over there in the eastern Pacific. Right now in the Atlantic, fairly warm as well, 28 degrees or more. Um, and that of course continues into the east pack, apart from that slither of cool waters um, just south of Mexico. Wind shear has been increasing slightly since yesterday, though is still fairly low, and added to the storm's latitude is going to continue to be low for some time. And there is the storm on the water vapor imagery, um, just about to make landfall in Nicaragua, and as you can see, its influence extends quite a way over the Caribbean Sea. So let's take a look at the floater imagery, which will give you a better perception of what's going on right now. There it is, the eye beginning to pop out in those latest frames and certainly looking very decent indeed. That's why we're calling it a Category 3 storm. The National Hurricane Center says 110 miles an hour only, uh, but it doesn't really make much odds. Um, it is still a very strong storm and it's probably going to cause some significant issues in those two nations that we're talking about, Nicaragua and um, Costa Rica. Uh, and also in the neighboring countries too, Honduras and Panama could possibly see some issues too if they haven't already. So there is Otto in the Atlantic, uh, not much else going on in the Western Hemisphere. So let's go east and we've also got Tropical Depression at 29W which is located uh, pretty much over the Philippines now and could become a tropical cyclone or a tropical storm rather in the next day or two and one or two models hinting that it could become a typhoon west of Luzon. That would be interesting. 78 tropical storms have formed so far in 2016 around the world. 39 have gone on to become Category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents. And 23 Category 3 storms now with winds of 115 miles per hour or higher. Um, comparable not really with any other season. In major hurricanes not far from 1991 there. Uh, obviously lots of comparisons in tropical storm numbers. But none of the three numbers correlate with any other season. So... You can follow Force 13 on any of our outlets, the website force13.com, and also on our YouTube and Facebook pages, Force 13, all in text, and at Force 13 on Twitter. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype, that's F O L 13 for tropical weather chat at any time. The next update on Otto will follow later today, and there is a possibility we will go live on the system as well.